just to be clear, what are you? Prime. You're prime? Top notch. What makes you time, prime, top notch, Putang? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll wait. I mean, I have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains, beauty, ambition. I would build my man up to be everything he wants to be in this world. I'm uh, the best investment he would ever make in his life. You approached me on a sugar daddy <laughs> website and asked me to be your sugar baby and then Never couldn't did. afford my allowance. Never did. He couldn't afford my $10,000 allowance a month. And my is exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that. But nobody touches me unless a man, yes, does take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's going to mentor me, teach me, and invest in me and get me to my highest level as well. And just to be clear, what's a $150,000 body? Uh, four BBLs, two breast augment, technically five BBLs, but it's we're going to go with four. Woo! I was trying to hold out till she was finished. I was trying. I was trying to hold out till she was finished, dog. This heifer said five BBLs and she top notch. <laughs> mm. uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox. Botox, lip, lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks on my face. Wow. And how young are you? 28. Damn. Just to be clear. I ain't gonna lie. I thought she was about 45, dog. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna break this down as, as and articulate this as, as best as I can. Fellas, a woman like that what can she do for you? What value can she add to your life? I had to have this conversation with my boy a few days ago because him and his girls going through some things. And I had to ask him, bro, for the three or four years that you and your girl been together, what value has she added to your life? He couldn't think of none. I was like, what have you done for her? He had a whole list. He had a whole list, bro. Yet still, he wanted to go back to her. Now, I ain't gonna, I'm, I ain't gonna get too much into my man's business. You know what I'm saying? But this woman cannot add no value to your life. She's on a, a podcast trying to convince you. Most importantly, she's trying to convince herself. Because there's no way that she 100% believe that she's top-notch, top-shelf Putang. You, you not even real. You a prototype. You was put together. You're a collage. I paid my cousin. I always wanted the $400 to fuck her and her was funky. I want my money back. I don't give a if you family or not. You shouldn't have never gave a family member some funky. I want my money back. Why he came on the internet with that? Hey, don't sleep though. It's some of y'all nasty right now that got cousins that you trying to give the ding dong to. Keep it a keep it a hundred. You know what? I'm gonna tell y'all the story. One day, right? I came from playing ball. This is I live with my aunt. One day I came from playing ball, and like when I walked in. It's in this light skin chick, bro. Cheeks. She was pretty as hell and she had some cheeks. And I'm like, oh. Shit. Yo, which one of the family friends is this? So I walked and I seen her. I said hi. Then I walked around the corner and I see my cousin Judy. So then my aunt was like, um, have you met Judy's daughter? Instantly, bro. I was disappointed, bro. I was instantly disappointed because I already knew that was my cousin. Yeah. That was that. was That <laughs> That was that. I'm trying, I think I told my aunt that shit, too. That was that, bro. My cousin was fine as hell. I think that was the only time I seen her. I went on a first date. 
And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, whoa. Like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past the trying to walk down the steps mm-hmm. and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? High five. No, High five. No, 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 no. Now let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my follow-up text was, y'all, that's my bad. I, ain't, I just realized, I, and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. And I felt mm-hmm. like he technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was, he corny. But he really did everything that we want. But if I went on a first date, and when I... Yo, let me tell y'all another story. When me and my wife broke up in college, I told, I spoke to a lot of females. I'm not gonna lie. It was one particular female that I was actually starting to like. And this is who I'm about to tell the story about. So we was talking... And we used to talk about everything. We used to talk about everything, bro. And I used to talk about girls that I was talking to. She used to talk about dudes that she she was talking to. You feel me? But it was a known unknown that we liked each other. But we just never... Like, the way we interacted with, with each other, it wasn't like we were dating or we was trying to date or nothing like that, bro. It was just one of those... It was weird, bro, <laughs> to be honest with you. But anyway, she had told me this story. Like, she had went she went on a date with this dude, and she got too drunk. And she ended up spending the night at his house. They ended up doing the nasty. The first thing she said was like, bro, this man ate my ass. Right? She, she was just like, yo, he ate my ass. Like, I can't believe he ate my ass. Like, she was low-key making fun of him because he ate... He ate her her behind. Then she proceeded to say that when she woke up, homie had cooked her breakfast. And I was like, oh, snap. But I would never forget how she basically made that it seem like he was a lame. At that time, I want to say we were like 20, 21. And dude was like 30. But she made this nigga seem like such a lame. And... I'm sorry to say this, bro, but nice guys do finish last. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Yo, my boy put the handbrakes on. Yo, he put the handbrakes on, bro. That phone must not be waterproof. Okay. <laughs> No way. Ain't no way. That shit popped out like a ninja just now. Ain't no way. I was not expecting that. Whoo! That might be the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> that might be the thumbnail, guys. I was not expecting that wagon. Wow. I was mm, all right. I'm married. Um good night guys. <laughs>